Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. I'm from the YouTube channel Dutch Love Tech and today I'm gonna show you how I used a 10 watt endurance laser to make this really cool business card out of veneer wood. So to design the business card I used Adobe Illustrator and just imported my logo here, added my name and channel name plus my public email address and then created this kind of circuit board looking paths here which are just a simple line with a circle and the end. Uh, and this just gives a really cool design. So to easily cut out all these parts here that I wanted to create a kind of see-through effect on the business card, I just copied them over into a separate design and exported that uh, for the laser. These are just all the holes and also the paths around it to cut out the business card. Over in Lightburn, you can see that I have imported an image. It would probably be even better if you used the vector outlines of the different symbols, but it was easier to export it this way and in the end result you don't see any difference at all. For the engraving layer, I have 800 millimeters per minute at a maximum of 35% power. This is rather high for wood, but I'm gonna keep on the masking tape over the entire piece of wood to prevent any kind of smoke to discolor the rest of the wood and just give generally a nicer result. If I weren't using masking tape over the wood I would probably be using around 12% power. And to get a nice sharp result I'm using 0.1 millimeters intervals. And when we hide the image layer we can see the cut layer here with all the cutouts for the letters and the holes and the cutout around. To cut I'm using 270 millimeters per minute at full power with just a single pass and that cuts out the veneer beautifully. Depending on how thick your veneer is you will probably have to change that a little bit. And speaking of veneer I actually glued together two pieces of veneer so that the grain is opposite to each other. That way I for one get less warping in the piece and I also get a lot stronger part. Of course this also makes your business card a little bit thicker, but this isn't any something that you're gonna carry around a dozen of them in your wallet anyways. It's more of like a special thing you give to a very special client or a friend. Then once I had all the settings dialed in, cutting it went really smoothly as well and it came out I think really beautiful. This is certainly gonna be something that people remember you by. If you hand over somebody just a normal paper business card, they're gonna have your number but they're not gonna remember anything special about it. But if you hand them a laser cut wooden business card, they certainly will remember that and keep you in mind. So that's it for this video, if you liked it make sure to leave a like down below, also subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below. You can also check out my videos on my youtube channel youtube.com slash tech. So thanks for watching and until next time. Hey guys David here and welcome to this video. I'm from the youtube channel tech. And in this video I'm gonna show you how I used a 10 watt endurance laser to make this really cool jigsaw puzzle out of 3mm acrylic. So before we actually start laser cutting let's take a quick look inside of the software to see what I did to prepare it. So I found this really cool jigsaw cutout vector file on the internet which is not just a regular boring uh, same piece uh, for all the pieces but it uh, is actually really unique and very very cool. So I imported it here into Lightburn which is my preferred software to use for lacing, engraving and cutting 
Um, since I don't have an uh, acrylic piece that is big enough for all the pieces, I split it in half here, but you could also just do all of them in the same place. For the settings here, I'm going at full power at 150 millimeters per minute, at, and I'm doing four passes. This, in my uh, experience, gave me the best results with the acrylic that I'm using. Now, I of course don't just want blank pieces, so I have this image here that I also split up so it matches, and I'm engraving that one at 800 millimeters per minute at 55% power. And I'm gonna do 0.15 millimeter intervals, so it goes a little bit quicker. And when we look at the preview here, we can see that everything should match up nicely. I positioned the image so that it matches perfectly afterwards and you can not see that it is cut out of two different pieces. And you can also see that the total time estimated is quite a long time, so this will take a while. Over on the laser I just made sure that the origin is in the bottom left corner of my acrylic piece and then taped it into place a little bit so it doesn't move around on me and press go. As you can see, this 10 watt endurance laser is doing a really good job of it, and the engraving is just beautiful on there, and the cutting goes quite smoothly as well. One thing you want to be mindful of with acrylics is that they do smell really bad while engraving and especially cutting, so you want to be in a well ventilated space, or even better, have some kind of fume extraction. And after a bit over two and a half hours, the laser cut completed, it was perfectly the first time and I could just easily take apart the puzzle. There were some tiny pieces still stuck together but they could easily break apart and be cleaned up by hand. And putting the puzzle back together, I noticed that I really haven't done a jigsaw puzzle in forever. And it was actually really fun and the pieces go together really well. I think the slightly transparent nature of the acrylic gives this whole thing a really unique and special look that you don't get with normal just cardboard or wooden jigsaw puzzles. Now you could of course uh, customize the image however you want, you could make a bigger one, a smaller one, the choice is yours. But as you can see the 10 watt endurance laser is just did a beautiful job of this and is really suited for this kind of stuff. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And you can also check out my YouTube channel, link down below. If you want to see a review of the laser and a lot of other 3D printing, laser and CNC content. So thanks for watching and until next time. Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. I'm from the YouTube channel Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how I customized this phone case with the 10 watt endurance laser. Before we can start laser cutting, we first need to have our design. And I wanted to do something that actually means something to me. So I 
put together in Illustrator here uh, the logos of my some of my favorite bands and I just imported the logos and vectorized the files and arranged them nicely and that's gonna be the cover of the case and on the front side I'm gonna have just this simple skull engraved which I think is gonna look really cool then I just exported the file and moved over to Lightburn as you can see here the file imported beautifully as always and to find all the settings for the leather engraving I used a different piece of leather first to kind of get a rough ballpark and then my case actually came with a little spare piece of leather that is the same material as the phone case itself so I used that to perfectly dial in all the settings for it and get just the right amount of etching in there. And then I just set the power that I wanted at I'm engraving here at 700 millimeters per minute at 15% with a 0.1 millimeter uh, interval so that the logos really come out nice and sharp. One thing that I also did is I added a layer here which I exported separately but it's just the outline and that's not going to be engraved on the phone case itself but instead I will engrave that on the wooden surface I have, have underneath just before I start the other program so I can accurately position the phone case and have it in the exact position that I want. That way I can make sure that none of the logos overlap the side and it is all nice and centered. For the front side I did basically the same thing just with the skull and I still had the box so that the alignment was perfect. Over at the laser you can see how this engraved box on the surface underneath really comes in handy to position the phone case accurately so that I hit it on the first try as messing up on this one would cost a lot more than just having to move over a little bit on a piece of plywood. The engraving itself went really beautiful and you can actually see that on this leather it didn't create a black marking but instead just removed the very top layer which is a little bit darker and it's shiny and underneath it exposed the little bit brighter parts of the leather and also matte. This gives a really nice contrast and although the leather is rather dark you can see it really well and you can also feel it just a tiny bit with the your finger but it's not too deep that dirt is gonna get stuck inside. So I think customizing a leather phone case like this is a really cool idea and could be awesome for gifts for birthdays, Christmas, Mother's Day or whatever and it is really a nice and personal touch. So that's it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. You can also check out my YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash It's gonna be also linked down below. So thanks for watching and until next time.